All right, welcome back. Today we're gonna to discuss the GBRS Group second best sling. So first things first, uh, it is a sling. There are many like it, but I think that they have done some really unique stuff with it that makes it stand out in the market. Um, it is really, I think, designed to mount it kind of like this in a mid-mount configuration. So one sling mount near the barrel nut and then one back towards the middle area of the stock. I'm using the T10 stock adapter uh, and swinger mount. Uh, you can get this online. It's not inexpensive, but I think it's definitely worth it and kind of makes this sling uh, work correctly. You'll note I used some hardware I got from Home Depot instead of the roll pin just because it was easier for me to make it work with this stock. But back to the sling. So it is extremely minimalist. I think that was a good kind of selling point that they went with versus some other slings. So let's take this sling off the rifle and then we'll get to it. All right, so we see, you know, this is less than like one inch wide webbing, very uh, low profile metal hardware. We have some, some nice, you know, good width on the padding, but still very thin. And they did some kind of four way stretch fabric on this as well. And then what I really think also helps set this apart is they went with some more length between the rear sling mount and the pad. And we'll get to that uh, a little bit later as to why that really defines this sling versus something else. The slider, kind of a low profile buckle and just enough handle to kind of grab, you know, one handed and then bring that, bring that forward. And all the adjustment is done uh, at the sling ends. So what that really does for you is enable you to have kind of the absolute what you need in a sling and nothing you don't. So let's compare this to something that I've used for a very long time and have become very accustomed to, and that is the, the Vickers sling. Let's just lock that back in. So this is a Blue Force Gear Vickers sling, wider, thicker padding. Uh, we got some much larger hardware uh, on the adjustment end in these big tri-glides wider, heavier duty nylon. Again, we just see everything is just bigger all around. And again, we have that short tab on the end. So I grew up using the Vickers sling. You know, I still have Vickers slings on a lot of my rifles. And kind of putting this on really highlighted to me, you know, what, what does a sling need to do? It needs to move with me. You know, it needs to have some good padding that is riding up on my neck and shoulder, right? Not down here. Uh, and it needs to not add weight and bulk. So this GBRS group sling, it really does all of that. You know, adjusts very easily. doesn't add any weight or bulk. And it lets the rifle hang where it should hang. Something else to note is that this kind of mid-mount position enables you to reverse sling. And by that I mean, instead of coming over your strong side shoulder, have it come over your weak side shoulder and have the rifle hang like this. So this might be good for you if you have some kind of shoulder injury, uh, you're running something maybe a little bit more front heavy. Um, you know, just think about how that might fit for you. Give it a shot. Uh, I've tried it. I've done both. And I've always come back to kind of a more conventional setup. What I also like about this sling is that because it's designed and really fits well into this mid-mount position, I can come and do all of my manipulations very easily and kind of move the rifle around me and not be concerned about uh, my sling binding or catching on anything. And it's just, it does everything it should do. It's very, very light. It's very, very slick. And I think this is kind of like the way all slings should be. Does it borrow a lot from other slings? Yes, every sling has borrowed from every other sling because all that it is is a strap keeping your rifle to your body. But when we get into the nuances and the fine details, we see that you know, they really did some excellent work making this sling what the end user needs. The last thing I'll say is that I really like that they you know, did not include any other keepers or tri-glides on the end because they want you to cut it to fit yourself. I have just taped it right now because I'm still trying to figure out 
exactly what adjustment I want on this sling. Uh, but as soon as I cut it, you know, we'll see we'll take off a little bit of weight, but also a lot of bulk on the sling. Any questions, let me know guys. I really do recommend this sling. I think it's a great option. I'm very happy that it turned out to be uh, as good as it did. Thanks.